Peter, how's everybody doing? Good, good, good. We are, we are thank, thankful um, to God to be in the house of prayer one more time. Um, so we're going to get started with our uh, our worship service. Uh, of course, um, Deacon Cooper will come and give our review, and then we'll go from there. Had a great time this morning on our prayer line uh, in St. Peter. I, um, I mentioned to the folk on the prayer line that um, to be praying with us because I, I would like to, I, I, I enjoy doing that, and so we may fix try to do that um, um, even at, when we come back to worship um, because that, that's, um, I really enjoy praying with, at, with St. Peter um, before worship starts. So let's have a word of prayer then. Um, then Deacon Cooper uh, will come with our um, uh, Sunday School Review. Eternal Father, we come um, thanking you once again for yet another day, for another blessed thank opportunity you, that you so graciously given us. We thank you, O oh God, for allowing us to be here, allowing us to be um, on, on live streaming, allowing those people to, to watch. There are many, many um, that are sick, that are um, shut in, that are, that are going through. And we pray, oh God, that you would touch them and touch their families as well. Keep them, Heavenly Father. Um, that is your servant's prayer. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Good morning once again, St. Peter family and... Facebook friends and neighbors. This morning we're talking about well, the Sunday school lesson this morning title is What Goes Around Comes Around. And that's yes, a known sir. fact. Yes, sir. That is yes, a sir. Known, known fact. Yes, sir. Can't beat that. No embellishing that. <laughs> what goes around comes around. You can count on it. A lot of things you can't count on, Reverend Jones, but you can count on this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, we're in Isaiah, mm -hmm. 61 and 8 through 11, 62, 2 and 4. Mm -hmm. Isaiah is one of the major prophets yes, of the yes, Bible. Yes. Isaiah had a lot to say. Mm -hmm. Isaiah had a vision yes. before a lot of people even had a thought. <laughs> See, Isaiah visioned the Messiah coming a lot, a lot, a lot of years before he got here. Yeah, yes, he did. And see, somebody to get his message out. Yeah, yeah. And Isaiah volunteered. Yes, he did. <coughs> and God accepted his volunteerism, mm -hmm. if that's a word. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> as you know, the Israelites would reject Isaiah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything he said, everything that he brought with him, the message, he was rejected. And we do like to reject bad news. Yeah. Who wants to hear bad news? No, sir. No, sir. But at least they didn't do Isaiah too bad. They just didn't believe it. They didn't believe it. So they decided to kind of leave him alone. And, you know, he was a strange prophet. Mm -hmm. He was educated. Right. He had good common sense. But he walked around half naked. Yeah. And, you know, I just have to say it like it is, Pastor. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, he, he, he was strange, yeah. to say the least. Yeah, strange. Yeah. 
And so, but he had his message was doom and gloom. Yes. Yes. He told them, if y'all stay on the same road you own now, yeah. it's going to be rough. rough. It's going to be worse than rough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they had been mistreated. They had been done pretty bad. Mm -hmm. But at the end, and I'm going a little fast, at the end, he had a good news yeah. message. Yeah. Good news. Yeah. Good news was coming. Yeah. And see, when they were set free, God set them free out of bondage from the Babylonians, and they were able to go back home. Mm -hmm. But see, Jerusalem was no more like it was when they left. All right. okay. it had, the walls were torn down. Mm -hmm. The fields had been ripped apart. Everything was gone. Mm -hmm. Nothing as they knew it when they left. Right. Yes, right. But God told him it's going to be different. And see, this is where the title of this lesson comes in. You can only do folks bad so long. So long. That's right. Yes, sir. See, and like they say, you get folks hemmed up, <laughs> bad things will happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. you find somebody that don't never argue, don't ever don't ever make a man. Don't ever make a man. <laughs> don't ever make a man. You know, because you'll see another you side of that time. person. So, you know, these people, they were done pretty bad, and we know they were. But Isaiah, getting back to him and what he had done, Isaiah prophesied about Jesus coming some 700 years before Jesus actually got here. Mm -hmm. And Ed, he told it all step by step how he was going to be beaten, how he was going to be put in a rich man's grave all right. mm. and how he was going to get up and come out. All right. He just didn't do all of the time elements of it, you know, the three days and all of that. Yeah, right. But he let us know way before Christ got here that he was going to come and be mistreated. All right. And then he let us know what his, where he was coming from. Yeah. The line of David. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. see, he, he had all this. God prepared Isaiah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for that being, people should have listened to him. Absolutely. But then some heard him, like we do. Right. Who the Israelites remind us of? <laughs> now I'm through. Us, us. But the pastor said it. I didn't have to. <laughs> you know, we don't like to be told stuff. And when we do, mm -hmm. we like to put our own spin on it. So, you see, Isaiah, he let them know it was going to be rough. Yeah, yeah. And a hundred years after I, Isaiah died, that's when the rough come. Really yeah. Yes, sir. See, it got really bad. But they were able to get back to Jerusalem, and God told them he loved justice. Yeah. Yes. See, he let them know he loved justice. justice is what I love. Yeah. Yeah. Justice yeah. was his greatest character trait. Mm. He told them I'm going to punish them like I punish y'all. Yeah. Right. yeah. Now, I'm going to show you what a magnificent God we serve. Talk about it. Talk about it. Right. He punished and blessed mm -hmm. two different nations yes, sir. at the same at time. The same time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, now, who else can do that? That's awesome. That's how awesome that is. See? Yeah. That's right. He's awesome. He punished the, the people that was me bad to treat, treating them bad, excuse me. Yeah. And then he blessed the Israelites yeah. simultaneously. Yeah. 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 Now that's an awesome God. Yeah. 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 Awesome. But we always have to understand that before it's over, good news coming. Good news coming. Regardless yeah. of how bad people might treat you, Reverend Jones, yes, they're going to get treated. You better say it. That's right. See, like right. I said last Sunday. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. Satan stuff is just only temporary. temporary. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But what God has for us is yeah. everlasting. Yeah. Yeah. Eternal. Yeah. It is. So yeah. we have to understand it's not our job mm. to meet out judgment. No, no. 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 See, no. that's God's job. That's God. Absolutely. And out of all the battles that we have, we're not going to win them all. But 
You don't count none of them a loss. No, no, mm -mm. No. Because God got your back. Yes, That's right. Yes, That's right. See, yes, Willie, Leroy, and Johnny, they might not have it. <laughs> but see, God got your back. <laughs> see, see, see. Mm -mm. No. You can't count on no, folks no, around you all no, the time. Sir. No, sir. Uh -uh. Okay. No, you sir. can't even count on family. No, sir. Mm -mm. Come on, yeah. Mm -mm. Come on. You can't count on Sally Mae. Come on. But, <laughs> but you can count on God. Yes, you can. You know, yes, you can. he going to deliver us. Yes, yes. And see, these people were happy because they were closed in what? Salvation. Salvation. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My 10 minutes up. Thank you. Well, thank you all so much. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> thank you so much, Dean Cooper. We appreciate it, man. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. As we um, get ready now, um, um, just a couple announcements. Um, next week, our Lord's Supper um, is going to be as it was um, um, previously, that um, uh, we'll have it here. And St. Peter, I'm asking you uh, to come drive through the awning in the back, and then we will um, bring it out to you. Uh, we'll do it like, like we did before. Um, also, after we, uh, after the Lord, um, get us back. Um, we we are going to plan to do something um, for our youth. Um, they they clearly deserve it. So um, I'm not sure what it is. I've sent out some notes um, um, to uh, to folk give us, give, giving us some ideas. But we're going to do something for our youth um, when when we come back. So I want our youth to to know that. Um, 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 that we are going to do something for them. Um, it's only only fitting that we do that. Amen. And also, um, today um, would have been our 110th church anniversary. Praise the Lord. 110th church anniversary. Um, well, I put it like this. We would have celebrated it. Yes. It is still that. Still that. Yes. But uh, we would have celebrated it today. And and I want to want to say this. Um, um, the Lord has um, has been with us. Yes. Um, he has blessed um, St. Peter over all these years, and we are, are looking to reschedule that um, um, that celebration. Um, hadn't nailed anything down yet; just waiting um, to see when we we'll be we we'll be back. But I want to um, thank um, you, St. Peter, um, uh, for being who you are. Um, God has truly blessed us, and we're just thankful for all that you do and all that you've done. Uh, so thank you so so very much for being um, for being the church that you, that you are, um, um, and I, I'm I'm just grateful uh, to be um, here um, as pastor for this season. I, um, God has truly blessed us, and I and I um, I can't tell you how much I thank God for uh, for this opportunity. Amen. 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 As we uh, move forward, our target scripture. Um, today, um, so we're going to look at um, the ninth number of the Psalms, um, and we're going to read the first um, couple of verses of that. So please, um, please get your Bibles out, and we're going to read um, the ninth number of the Psalms. We're going to read it together. Um, so, um, so I'm going to give you a second. I ain't going to wait long enough. Uh, for you to get your Bibles. Uh, um, the ninth number of the Psalms, um, and it says, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy merciful works, marvelous works, rather. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. Amen. 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 The, the Lord has been good to us. Yes, he has. Um, ain't no doubt about that. No, no. Ain't no doubt about that at all. No. Uh, when we look over our lives, yes, um, yes. God has been good to us. 
we've, we've been in situations, we've been in circumstances that we shouldn't have got out of. Um, but God um, allowed us to get out of that. Um, and, and, and so we are just always grateful uh, for what he has done. Amen. 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 And uh, I know that um, they're talking about opening up um, um, the church and open up restaurants and all that stuff. Um, I, 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 I don't know uh, when they're going to do that, but even if they say they're going to open up the church next week, uh, we won't be. Um, I, I, I just I soon and, and we will um, pray about that and see what we what we need to do um, in all of that. Amen. 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 Uh, I just think that God knows better than anybody else. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. Now, at this time, we're getting ready to um, uh, call out our names, and we'll have our confession, then we'll have our um, altar prayer. Right. And, and so we're, we're praying for um, Brother and Mother Lester, um, the Clary family, the Sales family, um, Brother Freddie, um, Sister Reese, uh, the Metcalf family, uh, Sister Jade, uh, the Green family, um, Sister Pollen and her family, um, Deacon Roy, um, who's doing a whole lot better. Uh, thank God for that. Um, Sister Hammonds, um, Sister Savannah, uh, Brother Willie Jones, um, Sister Deborah, uh, Reverend Strickland and his family, um, Sister Fran, um, Brother Mike, uh, Sister Marcia. Uh, we're praying for Pastor Daly and his family. Uh, praying for Sister Candy and her family, uh, for my aunt um, Corrine and, and Joyce Arbery, my cousin. Praying for Brother uh, Willie Whitfield. Brother Willie was in the hospital earlier this week. He's out, and we thank God for that. Thank God for that. Um, Deacon Moe, uh, Sister Shirley. Uh, we're praying for um, all those at the State Hospital, uh, Briarwood, Dorcas House, and the Harrison House. Uh, we're praying for all churches yes, sir. all over this land. Yes. Um, there are some churches that are, that are going through some, some trying times. Yes. Um, because, you know, when folk don't come to church, mm -hmm. um, sometimes, sometimes they may not um, bring their offering. Mm -hmm. So there are some churches that are going through some trying times. Yes, um, but God is able. Yes. So we're praying for, we're praying for those. Uh, we've been blessed here. Yes. Uh, God has blessed this place. And we thank him for that. Um, and so we, we pray um, that those, uh, those churches will continue to, to move. I spoke with a pastor the other day, and, and um, he knew of some, some churches that were um, getting hit because they couldn't pay their mortgage. Um, and, 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 and so we are, we are praying for all of them. Uh, we are praying for our nation um, and the world. Um, we're, we're praying for, for all those that are in the hospitals. So, um, so always, always keep all those folk in your, in, 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 in your prayers. Because, because each one of us um, who are watching, who are here, don't know when you're going to have to be prayed for. Amen. 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 Um, and now, now the harsh reality is all of us need prayer right now. Yes, um, because all of us got something going on in our lives. Yes, all of us. And, and so we, we, all need, we all need prayer. So at this time, we're going to um, have our um, confession, and then we're going to have our altar prayer. Amen? Um, confession. Amen. 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 And, and, and for those that are, that are watching uh, who may not be members of St. Peter, um, thank God for you. Um, but our confession time, um, because uh, we believe that, that, that if, you, if you're going to pray to God, you have to confess to God. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. You can't just call out prayer to God and not confess to God. Because all of us have fallen short. And, and, and we just believe that, that the confession time, and, and that's when everything is silent in St. Peter, that, that, that at that time, um, you tell God what you've done. He knows. 
Um, but you need to verbalize it, um, your shortcoming. And, and, and so that's why we do the confession. So that's why I wanted you to, uh, wanted to explain that real, real uh, quickly that we do that. At this time, uh, Reverend Jones is going to come uh, with our altar prayer. Good morning to the St. Peter Church family, those of you who are here and listening near and far. We thank God again for this privilege and opportunity of prayer. We thank him for the, the power of prayer. Yes. And eternal God, our Father, we come before you this morning once again to say thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. for just one more day. Thank you, God, how you have stayed with us, you have watched over us, you have covered us, you have shielded us during this pandemic situation. And God, we thank you for your grace, thank you for your mercy, thank you for your loving kindness and your steadfast compassion that you continue to look beyond all of our faults and to see our needs. God, we thank you for touching us this morning and causing our eyes to behold the beauty of a brand new day. Yes. And then for those of us who have assembled here in your house, we thank you for giving us a heart and a mind and a desire to come out to your house just one more time. Yes. Father, we come praying this morning for all of the names that have been called off on the prayer list this morning. You know the circumstance, you know the condition, you know the problem, you know the situation. No, God, we know that there is no problem on earth that you cannot solve. There is no sickness on earth that you cannot heal. Because you are still the supreme being. You are still the sovereign God. You still rule. You still heal. You heal, deliver. And you, God, you still have brought a whole, of our, a whole lot of us out of our situations before. And we trust and believe that you can still do it again. Yes. So God, if it can touch and agree with your holy and righteous will, we ask that you touch those individuals whose names have been called off here this morning. Uh -huh. Father, we come praying for every church that stands open in your name, those who are struggling and straining during this pandemic situation. Uh, touch those pastors, oh God. I know this is a heavy burden that has been placed upon them. Oh God, we ask that you would uh, help them to still be able to do their job to minister to your people. And God, we ask that you would help your people not to become so slowful and slack because we're not being able to assemble in your house. But God, we ask that we would use this time to get closer to you by praying to you, by calling out to you, by getting into your word. And Father, as we get into your word, we ask that you would help us to grow in your word, grow in the grace and knowledge of thee. And Father, we come praying for every hospital that is open this morning. We pray for the doctors, we pray for the nurses, we pray for the health care workers. We even pray, pray for the housekeeping individuals who have to take care of all of the, the dirty stuff that is being left behind to clean the rooms. And we ask that you would shield and protect them while they are at work, hopefully that they won't catch anything and take it home to their families. Oh God, we ask that you would cover us, God. We ask that you would shield and shower us once again as we go forth through this day. We come praying, oh God, that you would uh, bless the word that is going to come this morning. Open our hearts that we'll be able to hear and receive. And bless our pastor this morning. Continue to give him the strength to journey on in your name. And God, we come this morning to give you praise. We come to give you glory. Because truly, you are worthy to be praised. And as we lift our holy hands, we say, thank you, God for being our God. Thank you for being the God over our life. Thank you for being the God in our life. And we thank you, God, for all that you have done, all that you're going to do, and for what you're doing right now. We pray these blessings in the strong and mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Jones. If y'all heard some noise in the background, that was me about to tell up something. <laughs> Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. So we're we getting ready for the word. Amen. 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 You know, when we since we've been doing this this live streaming, well, preaching time comes quick. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Boy, boy, you know it. Time to preach. Because I don't mind that. <laughs> amen, 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 amen. Uh, let's have a word of prayer. Eternal Father, we come uh, once again um, um, to thank you uh, for another blessed opportunity. You've been so, so very good to us. And we thank you, O oh God, for what you've done. We thank you, O oh God, for what you're doing. And we pray right now that you would strengthen us, lead us, and guide us. Um, hold us, O oh God, in your love and care. Uh, we pray that you bless um, these, your people. Uh, keep us, Father, and help us to hold on to your unchanging hand. We do love you and we do praise you. And in Jesus' holy and righteous name, we pray this prayer. Amen. 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 All right. Um, let's go to Luke, um, 13th chapter. You notice I didn't say if you have your Bibles, because I know you got them already. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, know, I know you got them. I, I, I know you got them, and you, and you read it. You like me, you read you, you, you to get in this word. Yeah. Luke, um, the 13th chapter, and uh, we're going to start at verse number 22. Um, and we're going to... Get, get, we have a few verses we're going to read this time, so just so just bear with us. Amen? Right. Amen. Luke, the um, 13th chapter, starting with verse number 22. And it says, And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Then said one uh, unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? He said unto them, Strive to enter um, in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. All right. When once the master of the house is risen up and has shut um, to the door, right. and ye begin to stand without mm. and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, mm. open unto us. Right. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. Then shall ye begin to say, uh, we have eaten and, and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not. Whence ye are. Depart from me, um, all ye workers of iniquity. Um, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When ye shall see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and ye yourselves thrust out, and you shall come from the, and they shall come from the east and from the west, from the north, from the south, and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, um, there are uh, there are last which shall be first, and there are first which shall be last. Amen. 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 What we're going to talk about real, real, real quickly here is, are you in the house? Are you in the house? Are you, are you in the house? Are you in the house? Mm. Not talking about St. Peter. <laughs> not, about, not talking about some other church. But are you in his house? Um, because that's, that's what matters. Jesus has been teaching and, and preaching and um, in these villages. And so one of his uh, disciples asked him, um, and, 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 and when, you, when, you, when you kind of paraphrase the question, um, he's saying basically, he asked him rather, basically, who is saved? How many are saved? And the reason that he asked the question is that you remember the crowds. Right. Uh -huh. right. You remember the crowds that, that, that had been following Jesus. Right. Well, now, 
At this point, the crowds have gotten smaller. Yeah, there, 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 there were a whole lot of folk uh, following him at first because it was just a thing to do. It was a new thing. And, 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 and then Jesus was, was healing. He was feeding folk. He was teaching folk. He was uplifting folk, turning their lives around. But, but, but now, um, it's almost as if the newness has worn off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and let me ask you, let me, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you. Has the newness worn off in you? You remember when you, when, when you first came to church? Come on. And, 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 and you were striving and, and you want everybody to be saved. Uh, you you were happy to be here, and 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 you were joyous and everything. But but now, uh, has the newness worn off? Uh, sometimes you don't care no more about being in church. Uh, you 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 can take it or leave it. And 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 the problem is, God had not stopped blessing you. He's blessing you now just like he blessed you when you had all this joy coming to church. Nothing had, nothing had stopped for God. But how about for you? Mm. Has the newness worn off? God has not worn down. But why have you? Why, why, why is it that, that, that we have lost our faithfulness? Mm. Why is it that we have lost our commitment? Because see, everybody that comes to church is not dependable. Come on here. All right. Come on here. Everybody that comes to church is not faithful. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Come on. See, it almost seems like your, your, your faithfulness leaves as your selfishness eases up. What happened? Yes, what happened on the way? Mm. Did, somebody, did something happen in your life? Did something tragic happen? Something tragic happens in all of our lives. Yes, yes. Because we are on this side of the river. Yes. Life is going to happen. Yes. But that should not alter our devotion to God. What happened? That your faithfulness has fallen to the wayside. What happened that our commitment to God is now lacking? Uh, what, what happened? And, and you know, um, during this time, during this downtime, if you will, our commitment should have been or should be growing. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all will help me with this? Come on. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. Cause you got time now to be in the word right. when you had an excuse before. Come on here. You ain't, you ain't got no excuse now. <laughs> what happened to your commitment? Mm -hmm. See, during this downtime, our commitment should have been rekindled with God. But with, 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 with some of us, I wonder, has it burned out, though? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. You can say amen if you want to. Amen. All right. What has happened? And that's what happened with the crowds with Jesus. When his disciple asked him about, about those that, that are being saved, who's going to be saved? And, and, and the issue was that, that the crowds had, right. had dwindled down. We look around and, and, and we got half-hearted believers. Yeah. And God has not stopped blessing. Oh, yeah. And because he has not stopped blessing us, each and every day we ought to grow stronger and stronger in him. Yes, sir. Why is it that seem, sometimes seems we growing Father and father away from him. 
Now, now one thing, uh, as we look at this, as we look at this, that Jesus was, was teaching, but Jesus was teaching sternly. He was, he was teaching sternly. And, 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 and when I say that, is, is, is that he was, he was dealing with the half-hearted folk. Because the reality is, the reality is, why would he want half-hearted folk with him? No, no, no. See, half-hearted folk, you know, they may come to church, come on. but they just come. Come on, come on. Half-hearted folk uh, uh, get discouraged real, real easy. Yeah, yeah. If you look at them funny, yes, sir. Yes, sir. they get discouraged. Half-hearted folk don't want to hear teaching and don't want to hear preaching. No, no, no. Half-hearted folk don't want to hear none of that. They don't mind the singing. Well, as long as you're singing their song. They they don't mind that. Uh, But as soon as you're talking about teaching or preaching, then half-hearted folk, they hit the road. And they may stay in the sanctuary. But they are actually gone. They're actually gone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somewhere. Yes, sir. Somewhere. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Half hearted folk. Um, they like to cause mess. Yes, sir. They want everybody else in the church to be half hearted like they are. Right. That's half hearted folk. Mm-hmm. They don't want nobody else to listen. See, half-hearted folk are the ones who are always bother you while you're in church. Right, right. While the preaching is going on, the, the half-hearted folk, they're the ones always nudging. Nudging, yes, sir. They don't want to hear, and they don't want nobody else to hear. Right, all right. Tell them, yes, sir. Half-hearted folk are always going to the bathroom. I mean, if, some, it, I mean, if you got to go to the bathroom, that's fine. I ain't got nothing to do. But don't go to the bathroom and then be out in the foyer on your phone. If you got to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, come on back. Right, right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Somebody's going to say, he don't even want nobody to go to the bathroom. That's not what I didn't say that. That's not what you said. That's what half-hearted folks. <laughs> you, you remember, you remember, Gideon had half-hearted folks. Yes, sir. Gideon, you remember the story. He started out with 32,000 folk yes, he did. Yes, he did. to go into battle. Yes. And, and, and God told him. Now, God knew that I was too many. Right. But, but God told him. He said, he said ask them who want to go to the house. Right. Tell them to leave. leave. 22,000 got up and went to the house. Yes, sir. Whoa. Yes, sir. They didn't want to fight in the first place. They were just following the crowd. Yeah, right. We got some crowd followers in the church. Half-hearted folk. But then uh, he tells them, he says, he says, he says, strive. In other words, make an effort. And, 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 you know, it's sad that sometimes some of us in church don't want to make an effort to make a difference in somebody's life. All right. All right. See, the call, the, the call of Christ is for believers to, one, make an effort, yes. to strive, to do your very best yes. in ministry. Um, no matter what ministry that, that, that you're involved in, right. you all want to do your best in it. Yeah, absolutely. If, if, if it's in the choir, you all want to do your best, best. in that. Best. You, you want to put your best foot forward, yeah. whether you're an usher or, or, or whatever you do. Right. Preacher, teacher, um, and, 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 and greet us whatever you, you ought to put your best foot forward you ought to never come to church with a half hearted attitude 
Because God has been too good to you. And you're going to come up and come up and I ain't just talking about the St. Peter, I'm talking about any church. And you're going to go up there and, 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 and kind of half do what you're supposed to be doing because you're mad at somebody. Have mercy, Lord. You need to strive to do the best that you can for God each and every day of your life. And if you know that you are not doing your best, then you ought to ask God to forgive you and help me to do my very best. Help me to make a difference in somebody's life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, amen. Now that difference, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me deal with that. Because that difference that you make could be a negative difference too. Yeah. Yeah. We got some folk in the church who are negative yes, to some folk. You ought to do your best to be the most positive person that you can so that others around you will see the blessings of God and therefore they will be blessed as well. Because you do know that when God blesses you, he blesses those around you as well. Y'all going to help me with this? So he, he says, strive. To do the best. He, he, was talk, he was telling them, strive to do the best for me. He said, and you can't do that if you have heart. You can't do the best for Jesus if you, if, if you have heart. And don't, and don't tell me that you love the Lord and, he loved, and, and you will never want to come to church. Come on here. Amen. Amen. <laughs> But then, and, and we get close to being done. He then he starts talking about this house. All right. He starts talking about um, the master. He says that he says that he has now closed his door. Right. And he, he's saying that, and, and, and the scenario, the, the, the what you see here, is, is that is that Jesus, he's gotten up. He's put the kids to sleep, and he's locking up. Y'all gonna help me with this? You remember when you had to be in the house at a certain time, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. You need you you need to be in the yard at a certain time, and it's a shame because now, now you see young folk, 11, 12 years old, out in the streets. At 11, 12 o'clock at night. Say it, brother. Say it, brother. Come on, when they get ready. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm glad we got a curfew. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you look at the, the data, it says that in every major city, crime has gone down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The problem is, <laughs> see, if, 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 if a child, Come on. if a child, has the run of your house, then he or she has the run of you as well. Amen. Talk about it. Amen. Amen. Talk about it. Talk about it. Ooh, yes, sir. Amen. Talk about it. We don't want to make them mad. <laughs> I don't care if you get mad. Move. Move. Yeah. <laughs> get a job. You know, we have that, we have a problem that we, uh, we don't want to make our young folk angry at us. They're supposed to get angry at you. Yes, sir. You ain't supposed to be their best friend. Right. Right. You ain't supposed to hang out with them. Right. You ain't supposed to be at the club with them. Right. Hey. That's it. <laughs> you know, I, I, was, um, I was talking to a police officer, a friend of mine, a couple of years ago. And um, um, and he was he was telling me this was a few years back. He was telling me that he was he was on this uh, he was on on, on on the scene of this um, um, this shooting, and it was around uh, he said around two or three o'clock in the morning, and um, um, this young this young fella had had gotten shot, um, and he was uh, I think the young fella was 13, 14 years old. He he'd just been been grazed. He he hadn't had hadn't hadn't hadn't, hadn't um, died or anything like that. And so, and, and so the, the officer, um, um, good guy, real good guy. He, he was 
talking and, and, and trying to get everybody um, uh, where they're supposed to be and everything like that. And the mother of this young man comes up and she's hollering and screaming and going on about, about he's being shot. And, and he said, yeah, but he, he's fine. He's, I mean, he's, he's fine. He, uh, and, and, and so he calms her down, calms the, the, the mother down. And then, um, after she's calmed down, he said, he said, Miss, he looks at his watch. This police officer telling me this. All right. uh, he looks, and, and he says, it's, it's, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. are, y all, y all, are y'all seeing this? Uh, yeah. right. He said, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Yes, sir. And your son mm. is, I forget, he's 13, 14 years old. He said, he said why was your child in the streets yes, at this time of the night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said the woman got mad at him mm -hmm. for asking the question. Why would she get mad at him when she ought to be mad at her son or, or at herself? Right. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all gonna help me with this? With We're almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> Yeah, we, 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 we have allowed uh, too much to go on yeah, yeah. Um, with our children mm -hmm. um, in our society. Yes, but he says, Jesus says that, that they would be knocking mm -hmm. on the door, <laughs> trying to get in. Uh -huh. And he lets them know that, that the door is not locked All right. and you can't. You can't get in. Are y'all gonna help me? You know, you know, you know. You remember. You you remember the song, um, brother BB. Y'all remember him? <laughs> he said. He said. He said. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago. He said, wherever you led me, I was sure to follow. He said, girl, you put me through some pain and misery. Are y'all going to help me with this? Huh? He said, but now you are standing on my doorstep telling me how much you need me. He said, girl, ain't nobody home. Y'all going to pray with me? Huh? Ain't nobody home. Huh? And, and, and we have got to understand that the door is closing. But where, where are you? Some of us going to be caught on the outside knocking, trying to get in. Huh? But then some of us are going to be trying to justify why we need to come in. We're going to say, well, you, you taught us and uh, we ate with you. And, and, and the master is going to say, I, I don't know you. Well, why would he say that? Because, because you were in church true enough. You, yeah, you came. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, you were sitting down. But but the master will say, I don't know you. You never listened to nothing I said. You never did nothing I said. You never prayed. You come on, Reverend. Come on. Come on through it, sir. Too many of us are trying to justify who we are to the Lord. Uh, you, you can't justify yourself. You, you got you got to do what you're supposed to do while you have the time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on in here. Because see, everybody ain't going to come in the house. Come on. Are y'all going to pray with me? No, everybody is not going to come in the house. No, there are going to be some that can come in who are covered yes, sir. by the blood. Yes, sir. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yes, sir. See, some of us in here some of us in the church, we let too many folk in the house. Yeah. 
And, and, and you know them. You, you know them. You, you, you know their names. And, and I know their names too. But, 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 but you let them. You let them in. See, I don't have any qualms with, with telling, one, I don't like a whole lot of folk in my house anyway. And I don't mind telling folk, I don't want you to be here because it's my house. Amen. Amen. Why would I be scared to tell somebody you don't need to be here? My it's my house. It's my house. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, if I go to your house and you put me out, fine. <laughs> I'm good with that. Because <laughs> I got a house to go to. Yes, sir. Uh, Y'all going to help me? Yes, See, too many of us have allowed the wrong folk in the house. Yeah. And when you allow the wrong folk in the house, yeah. It messes up the whole house. Yes, it does. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yes, you remember? You remember Mr. and Miss Liar? Yeah. Yeah, Reverend. You remember when they was at your house? Come on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. and Miss Cheat. Yeah. Ah. Mr. and Miss Gossip. Call yeah. ah. Mr. and Miss So Righteous that, 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 that all they can do is pray. Mr. and Miss Complain all the time. Huh? Mr. and Miss Jealousy. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know they always come to your house. Mr. and Miss Fornication. You do remember them, don't you? Huh? Mr. and Miss Adultery. You've forgotten about them, had not you? Yeah. And, and, and then... And then you do remember what when Mr. Jen uh -oh. and Miss Miller would come in Reverend, Reverend. and they bring everybody with them. Come on. Watch who you bring in your house. Because everybody that comes in ain't good for your house. When they were knocking, and Jesus told him, I don't know you. I might have seen you, but I don't know you. No, 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 you never listened to me. Yeah, I, might have, I may have eaten with you, but I don't know you. And what he was saying is that because I don't know you, you don't belong in the house. And I wonder... How many of us truly belong in the house? How many around here, how many folk that you know truly belong in the house? Well, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Are y'all going to pray with me? See, one thing is I know I'm not there yet. But when the door closes, I'll be in the house. And I pray that you will be with me. But let me tell you about going in the house. Before you go in the house, there's going to be some problems in your life. You see, folk will talk about you before you go in the house. Friends and family mm. will turn their back on you yes, sir. Yes, sir. before you go in the house. Yes, sir. Huh? Mm. Folk will lie on you uh -huh. before you go in the house. Yes, yes. Folk will stab you in the back yes, yes. before you go in the house. Yes, but that's all right. all right. It's good mm. when you get in the house. Oh, yes, sir. Well, there are some others mm. who went through trials and tribulations for they got in the house. Right. If you ask Matthew, yeah. Matthew will tell you, on, I was beheaded yes, on my way to the house. Yes, sir. yes he was. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. James yes, uh -huh. will tell you yes, that I was stoned yes. before I got in the house. Yes, Stephen will tell you 
that I too was stoned before I got in the house. Are y'all going to pray with me? Andrew was crucified. And for three days, he was on the cross preaching until he died to get in the house. Mark was in Alexandria and he was dragged through the streets of Alexandria until his body was torn apart before he got in the house. All I'm saying is that there, there's not going to be always joy before you get in the house. But there is joy after getting in the house. Are y'all going to help me with this? Yes, sir. He said folk going to come from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. In other words, it's all of us coming together who are covered by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, he said the first will be last and the last will be first. What that means is that there's not going to be any priorities when you get in the house. Yeah, you might have had some, a big name here. But when we get in the house, your name going to be same as mine. Servant. Servant. And I look forward to that day when I'm going to leave here and go into my master's house. Well, how do I know that? Because the Bible tells me so. Yes, it does. It says because if I'm covered by the blood of Jesus, I too shall be in that number. How do I know that? I know that because he came down, born to a virgin named Mary, walked the streets of Judea, healed the sick, raised the dead, and one Friday, he was out on Calvary. He died that Friday. But thanks be to God, early. The third, the third day morning, my God, my Savior, my elder brother got up with all power in his hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because he got up, I'll be in the house. I pray that you'll be up there with us. Yes. Because when the doors shut, they are shut. Where will you be? Where will you be when the doors get shut? Oh, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For another day's journey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there may be some ups. There may be some downs. There may be some pain. There may be some tribulations. But let me tell you, there's going to be a better day when we get in the house and when we walk in that city. Huh. Won't need no light because the master shall be the light. Everybody now will be shining holy, holy, holy. Yes, uh, yeah. 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 If you can't shout holy now, how in the world you think you're going to shout it then? Glory, 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 glory. I feel better now. Glory. 
He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Thank God Almighty. Yeah. Just hang in there. Just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A little while longer. He's good. He's good. He's good. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God for all that He has done. All that He is doing. We thank God. We thank God. Mm. We thank God. 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 I'm trying to stop this now. We thank God. But he's good. He's good. He's good in the morning. The noon. In the evening. In the midnight hour. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he, he, he's good. Yeah, go go look in the mirror. And, and know that you are able to look at the mirror. You ain't in the hospital. Huh? Huh? Yeah. You're not, you're not at the ball. Yeah. You're not in a nursing home. Yeah. Yeah. You're not. You're not in a funeral home. Huh? You ought to be able. To, you, you, you ought to be able to say th th thank you just because I'm not in one of those places. He has been good to us. There ain't no doubt about it. Yes. He's been good. We, we thank God. 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 Amen. 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 We, we thank Him for another day. We thank him for another great opportunity. Because he's been good to us. He has been so, so good to us. Amen. 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 We're, we're ready to close and um, <clears throat> continue to pray for all those that are on our prayer list. Continue praying for them. Um, continue to uplift one another. Uh, make a difference in somebody's life. Yeah, yeah. A positive difference. Yeah, yeah. A positive difference. And quit letting folk in your house. Oh, Lord. Amen. 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 Folks that you know ain't going to do nothing but tear it down. Yeah. Yeah. Jealousy, hate, envy, yeah. and all that other mess. Uh, and get ready for, for worship. Get ready for worship, um, because uh, you know I mean uh, I miss I miss you, Saint Peter, and I, I thank God for you. Thank God for all the friends, the family that are, that are, that are with us um, on this Facebook. We we thank God for you, um, and so we are we are looking forward to the day that we can worship um, within uh, within our walls, and, and we will continue to do this live streaming. Um, even after that, um, so so thank God for you. And, uh, and you know, God puts people in place yes, he does. <clears throat> yes, he does. Um, that will do the things that God's people need to do. Yes. Um, um, and, and we have some folk here um, who do that, and we have a lot of people that do a lot of great things. Yes. But when when this whole thing came about, we had uh, Deacon Clary, Deacon Giles, Deacon Cooper. 
um, Sister Dodd, um, uh, who were the technical folk, right. getting everything squared away, um, Brother Jacob, and, then, uh, and all of you that are always here in the Reverend Jones's, um, been here throughout, and, and the other ones, uh, Sister Walker, and my auntie, and my cousin. So uh, I just thank God for you. I just thank God for you, Sister Clara. Uh, I just thank, thank you so much uh, for your support of this place and what God is doing in this place because he is blessing St. Peter. Amen. <coughs> he is, he is, he is in so many different ways. So we thank you. We're, we're getting ready to um, get out of here. We're getting ready to get out of here. Um, seems early, though. Seems early. <laughs> seems too early to go home. <laughs> You're too early to go to leave go to church. I mean, leave from church. Oh, oh, and and if anybody, any of you, need a Sunday school book, let um, either Deacon Cooper or myself know, or Deacon Giles, and we'll get you one. If you need a Sunday school book, let us know. We'll get you one. Um, that way, you can keep up with the lessons. Um, and, and and so, just let us know. We'll we'll get you. Some. Um, get you those books. And remember, um, 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 of course, we'll be um, the group prayer again on, um, on Wednesday afternoon at 620 um, before our um, live stream at 645 um, for the, with our Bible study. Remember, we have noon, noon Bible study here um, at the church, and we won't be live streaming that. And then Lord's Supper, you'll be going through the awning in the back as we did before. And we'll, uh, we'll have um, three or four brothers out there and sisters out there um, giving the, the, um, the Lord's Supper and praying with you as we do that. Uh, so we'll be doing that uh, once again. Amen? Amen. Amen. If nothing else that holds our attention, let us pray. Eternal Father, we come um, yet again yes, yes. Uh, to thank you for all that you've done and all that you're doing. Thank you, O oh God, for another chance, yes. another blessed opportunity. And we pray that something was said or done uh, this morning mm -hmm. uh, to bless your people, uh, to help your people, uplift your people, um, to move in your people. Yes. So that as we leave from this place, as we leave from this live streaming, those that are on that, uh, you, would, you would bless them to be a difference in somebody's life. As we move our lives going toward the house, um, to be in that house. We thank, we thank, oh God, um, not only St. Peter, but our friends and family um, that were on this morning. Uh, may God bless you and keep you and strengthen you. Um, that is your servant's prayer. Now may the grace and sweet communion of your Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with us, henceforth, now, and forever. And the church said, Amen. 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 Amen.